Hey guys, how's it going? Ghosty Richard today. Today we're going to be making a old TV, a smart TV. Now, some people would like this because they've got an older set and they want, of course, to have Netflix or maybe even Kodi and all these cool things on it. So, what we're going to do is we're going to turn this TV into a smart TV and again, if you want to know more about Kodi and all these different features, you can always YouTube them and even YouTube's on there. So, let's open this up. Again, I might have to put the camera down for a second sec this out but we'll see let's see what's in our box we have a stick that's going to go into our HDMI port and then we have a USB which is going to go into this stick and go into the uh, so your newer TV should have an H or not an HDMI but a USB so you just plug this into the USB port of the TV and that'll power the dongle while it's plugged into the HDMI port. So there's no cables hanging down from your TV. So plug this, as you can see, there's the tip into your HDMI port. Plug that into the USB. If you don't have a USB behind your TV, you can always plug this just into a USB charger and then plug it into power and just have it feed it that way. Give me one sec here. Another thing to note is if you're going to be using one of these Wi-Fi remotes, which I'm sure you will, or if you're going to use a Bluetooth keyboard, who knows, make sure you plug the Bluetooth keyboard into the um, part right here, which is your USB port on the back of it, because that's how you're going to control this, of course. So, for me, it's just this little dongle piece. I'm going to plug that in there, and then I'm going to plug everything in inside. And again, this little one is your uh, micro, and you're going to plug that end into there, just like a phone, and then plug that into the USB port of your TV. Next part is pretty simple. If you got one of these really cool remotes, it's, you know, you got your QWERTY right here, and then you've got your uh, directional arrows. So we're just gonna go over to, just go like this, and then you'll see that highlighted box come up. And we, first thing we gotta do is set up Wi-Fi. So we've got Bluetooth on, so of course, if we want a Bluetooth with our phone, I guess. But I'm gonna go right up to Wi-Fi. I'm gonna go to Cisco. Now, the Cisco here doesn't actually have a password. So I'm fine here. If you do have a password, you're gonna select that and then you're gonna type in your password, obviously. And as you can see, we're saved, we're ready to go. After this, now we go to our apps and we can now go to whatever the heck we want. We can go to YouTube and we can uh, do all that. Now with this on the Wi-Fi, I believe I can also search on my phone and I should be able to find this device on my phone for searching, but I'll show you that in a sec. For right now, I'm just gonna go back to say Netflix probably and put in my password, but let's let's check out YouTube. Why? Because we're on YouTube right now. And we'll say not now. So you can add your YouTube account if you want to, so that way you can watch whatever the heck you want. And apparently I need to update my date and time. So let's switch this. I'm in LA time zone, so that should actually be like negative eight or negative seven, I believe. I know I don't live in LA, but unfortunately that's how they put it up oh, there. Seeing that's a little bit slow for a sec. Again, it still works great. There we go. It might still be Pacific time. That's what I am, Pacific. So, use 24 hour format? No. Choose date format, that's fine. But yeah, that looks great. So give me one sec. All right guys, so this is what you're gonna need to do. You have a Samsung. You're going to have, see if you look in the exact center, there's a little square box with three lines. Samsung has something like that. And this is, you know, what allows you to send music and different things so you can use that. I think it's called SoundShare. And if you click on that, then whenever you click a song, the SoundShare logo will show up. It'll even show up on YouTube and other things. So that's a really cool logo to know about because you're going to use that. So make sure that's turned on. Now for this phone, we're going to use Throw. Now I'm going to turn on throw. It's going to search for devices. And then I'm going to show you what it does in a second. So it's searching, searching. And I'll just leave it search. The reason why is we're just going to go into, let's go into our music here. That should be just on the next page, music. And we got sweater weather up. Sure, why not? So you see how I've got the throw icon up now? 
it's up at the top. I'm going to just click that. Now, if you have a Samsung up near the top corner, you're going to see that little uh, the sound share icon. So you're just going to click it like I'm doing now. And this is, I believe, is called the eHome Media Center. I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to turn the volume down on the TV so that way we can see it. So that's what it looks like on your screen when you uh, set it up. As you can see, the neighborhood sweater weather has popped up there. And I just closed it so it just closed down. But yeah, so you can do that with photos. So uh, you hit that same little square and I'll share it to your screen now. So you can share pictures. You can uh, share videos you've recorded. You can share things like that. And then, of course, like I said, if you've never heard of Cody, you should definitely check it out. I'm not going to really give you any other information but a lot of people use Kodi because you can stream a lot of different music sources and like I said it's a cool little product anyways um that was the basic setup of this it's super easy to use I love this keyboard so far I've been playing around with it and uh navigation of this it's smooth I mean I wouldn't be using this for uh searching the web you can if you want but it's never been designed for yeah for me something this small and that something that it can't really have a really good processor on it so it's not going to search as fast as say a computer or maybe even your smartphone but again up to you it still makes it searching the web very easy with this remote i was searching the web and it didn't really make me say oh man this sucks so all in all um yeah i hope this helped you out press like if you did and subscribe for more the products used in this was a mini PC from Android. Um, if you want, if you were to look it up online, that is the name that you would need, a KT610. And then this is the Magic Remote that we're using, which is, again, WM066. And those are just the two parts you need. And again, what's really cool is this remote. If you're wondering, well, how does it charge? You charge it with your phone charger. It just charges right there. Okay.